Take action, also known as levonorgestrel, is a medication used by women to prevent pregnancy after birth control failure or unprotected sex. It is not meant to be used as a regular form of birth control. It will not stop an existing pregnancy or protect against sexually transmitted diseases. It may not work well for women over a certain weight or if you have used certain other medications within the past month, which could result in pregnancy. It's important to talk to your doctor to see if this medication is right for you. Make sure to check the label for ingredients, as the manufacturer may have changed them or similar products may contain different ingredients meant for different purposes. The recommended dosage is one tablet as soon as possible after unprotected sex, and the best time to take it is as soon as possible. When using Take Action to self-treat, make sure to read all the directions on the package before taking the medication. If you have any questions, talk to your pharmacist. If your doctor has prescribed this medication, take it as directed. Take one tablet by mouth with or without food as soon as possible after unprotected sex. This medication works best when taken within 72 hours, 3 days, after unprotected sex. If you vomit within 2 hours of taking this medication, contact your doctor to ask if you need to repeat the dose. After taking this medication, the time when your period comes and how much you bleed may change. Tell your doctor right away if your period is more than 7 days late. You may need to take a pregnancy test. If you think you may have a serious medical problem, get medical help right away. Some common side effects of taking, take action, include nausea slash vomiting, abdominal pain, tiredness, dizziness, changes in vaginal bleeding, breast tenderness, or headache. However, many people using this medication do not experience serious side effects. If you do experience severe lower stomach pain, especially 3 to 5 weeks after taking levonorgestrel, it is important to contact your doctor right away. Additionally, if you notice symptoms of a serious allergic reaction such as rash, itching slash swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing, seek medical help immediately. Remember that this is not a complete list of possible side effects, and it's important to contact your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects not listed here. As for the daily dosage and timing, it's important to follow your doctor's instructions on how to use this medication. If you have any concerns or questions about the side effects or usage of Take Action, be sure to discuss them with your doctor. Before taking Take Action, it's important to discuss any allergies you may have with your doctor or pharmacist, as well as any medical history of unexplained vaginal bleeding. This medication may cause dizziness, especially when combined with alcohol or marijuana. It's important to avoid driving or using machinery until you can do so safely. It's also important to disclose all medications and herbal products you are using to your doctor before having surgery. Take action should not be used during pregnancy, and if you become pregnant while using it, it's important to speak to your doctor right away. This medication can pass into breast milk, so it's important to consult with your doctor before breastfeeding. When taking Take Action, it's important to be aware of potential drug interactions that could impact its effectiveness. Some medications, such as griseofulvin, modifinal, rifamycins, St. John's wort, drugs used to treat seizures, and HIV drugs, may decrease the amount of birth control hormones in your body, leading to a decreased effectiveness of emergency birth control. It's important to keep a list of all the products you use and share it with your doctor and pharmacist to ensure the safety and effectiveness of take action. Always consult with your doctor or pharmacist before starting, stopping, or changing the dosage of any medicines. If someone takes too much of this medication, it is very unlikely to cause an overdose. However, if someone does overdose and experiences serious symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's important to call 911 immediately. Otherwise, contact a poison control center right away. In the U.S., residents can call their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, while in Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center. Symptoms of an overdose may include severe nausea and vomiting. Remember, always take medications as directed by your healthcare provider and never exceed the recommended dosage. Make sure to attend all your scheduled medical and laboratory appointments. This is important for monitoring your health and ensuring that the medication is working effectively for you. It's important to keep track of your progress and any potential side effects, so don't miss any of these appointments.
Take Action is a combination emergency contraceptive pill that is used to prevent pregnancy after unprotected sex or a contraceptive failure. It contains levonorgestrel, a hormone that can prevent ovulation, fertilization of an egg, or implantation of a fertilized egg in the uterus. It is not intended for regular use as a contraceptive. The recommended dosage is one tablet as soon as possible within 72 hours after unprotected sex or a contraceptive failure. Take the second tablet 12 hours after taking the first tablet. It is important to note that the sooner you take take action after unprotected sex, the more effective it will be. It is important to remember that take action should only be used in emergency situations and not as a regular form of birth control. Also, it does not protect against sexually transmitted infections. If you have any concerns or questions about the use of take action, consult with your healthcare provider for personalized advice. To store take action, keep it at room temperature away from light and moisture. Don't store it in the bathroom and make sure to keep it out of reach of children and pets. When you no longer need take action or it's expired, make sure to properly discard it. Do not flush it down the toilet or pour it into a drain unless instructed to do so. You can consult with your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for the proper way to get rid of it. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.